I got something here in the mail today. Really excited about it. It's something I've been looking forward to getting for a while. And I finally decided to kind of splurge a little bit and get it. Um, something that's kind of not necessarily an essential item that you have to have in your kitchen, but I already have one. Not the same brand, but I do have a Dutch oven. So I decided to invest my money and I really wanted one that was enameled inside. So the enameled cast iron, just to kind of like really kind of aid the cooking of a lot of dishes. So super excited to test this one out and I'm gonna show you what I got here. So kind of did a little bit of the unboxing earlier, um, but came in a little box and this is, it's actually quite heavy. Um, it's actually quite heavy. I don't damage the packaging. So. But this is the Le Creuset. Dutch oven right there you can see it right there and basically it is a five and a half so 5.5 quart Dutch oven it's manufactured in France authentic these are not actually there's very few brands that actually manufacture I guess Dutch ovens in Holland or the Netherlands um, but this is one of the brands it's actually been around since 1925 and look they're not paying me for this so I'm not gonna give you too much information but at the same time, I think it's a great brand. I've heard great things about them, and I'm excited to actually use it. So, I'm gonna move this box over here. Pop this bad boy down. You can see it there. But as a cook, this is something I've always kind of wanted. Um, and it's just, you can do so much stuff with it. It's very versatile. You can do everything from deep frying to sauteing, braising. It's great for baking dishes, too. You can bake a lot of bread in here. You can do everything, including a lot of stews and soups. You can actually put it in the oven, I think up to like 500 degrees or something like that, crazy. Um, I actually got the stainless steel handle. I also have the other handle as well. Um, and that basically allows you the knob to put it in at any temperature, basically. Um, but this, I thought this size was really good for me because um, I cook myself mostly. I do dinner parties sometimes, I have people over, but I don't have a huge, family or a bunch of people here that I'm cooking for. It's usually myself, but I like to basically meal plan and have ample supply to be able to make food throughout the week um, and kind of save it. Or sometimes have leftovers, or just it's, it's small enough where I can just like make a meal for one here, for like maybe seconds and thirds, <laughs> or to use it the next day, or it's just big enough to make food for the week too. So it's actually a great option. I think this size is pretty big. Um, but not like overpowering where you're like gonna have like a whole like monstrosity of food. So Basically popping it out nice lid. You see it has the enamel inside. It's actually a cast iron. They're actually made by hand I guess that probably is why it's expensive. So <laughs> But you what I was I was gonna buy a lesser known not a lesser known but actually a bigger brand that was a lot cheaper um, But I decided to buy the Le Creuset because it's kind of like you get what you pay for you know um, so I'm excited about this. So it has a nice kind of well-balanced, you see it's like kind of a, like a little bit of a, I guess like a, they call it a sand colored internal like enamel. So this, this enamel is very smooth, it's almost like a glass surface, but it kind of helps with like non-stick. Um, so one, th one thing about cooking with cast iron sometimes is it like sticks a lot. Uh, maybe it's because it's not seasoned well, I don't know, but probably that's probably the reason. Um, but. This is just easier for like the actual preservation of the dish or the um, pot because it actually is easy to clean up. And you actually can see on the bottom, it'll say the quartz. And it's just a little bit of like a Le Creuset kind of scannable thing, basically the authenticity thing, saying it's made in France. So good stuff. So excited about that. Um, it has also it's like booklet. I guess this is, like, is this some recipes? Let me see what this is. I don't even know what this is. Let me see what this is really quickly. So I'll do this. I'll do this. Um, put this right here. Put the lid on. See, I have the stainless steel knob actually already on there. So, um, but this I guess actually has. Um, I guess it's like an authenticity booklet. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought it may have been like some recipes in here, but I think it's just authenticity. If you guys want ideas about where to buy this from or want more information, I got mine off of Amazon, but um, you can actually buy them at a lot of different places. So hit me up, ask me questions. I'll be cooking with this a lot. 
If you watch me on Instagram, please do. I love it all, all things good. So love it all things good on Instagram. I'll be doing this in some of my Instagram lives, my YouTube lives, and Facebook lives as well. All under the same name, lover of all things good. And this will probably be a feature in most of my upcoming videos. Because it was expensive, <laughs> it cost the money. It was, I shouldn't say expensive, it was an investment. So I really want to get my money's worth. And in order to do that, I want to make sure that I, um, um, you know, use it quite often, which I will, which I will. I'm excited because I make a lot of meatballs too. And I hear it's really good for like braising meatballs and you can bake in there too, the meatballs if you want to. Um, I like doing roasts, I like doing steaks. Basically you can almost do almost anything with this. It's a really nice piece and I think I'm gonna get a lot of great usage out of it. So stay tuned for more. If you have any questions, leave me a question or in the comment, in the comment section, Le Creuset. And it is, um, this is the 5.5 core cherry red color.